Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alana and today I'm going to be doing a pick a card reading um, like I have done a couple in the past and I've always had really good feedback from them so I'm so excited to share this one with you for 2020. So what I'm going to be reading today is a message for you for the year 2020. Um, I'm using five different decks of cards and I'm going to be using a combination of all of the cards in each reading. So I have messages from your spirit animals, the Rebecca Campbell work your light oracle cards, magical mermaids and dolphins. She believed she could so she did. This is a little affirmation to give you at the end of your reading. And I also have these Fuel Happiness cards by Lululemon just as a little task for you to help you fuel happiness in your own life. So I will be combining all five of these decks to give you your reading today. And I also have an announcement if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me in February. I will be starting to do one-on-one -on -one readings. So if you like what you hear in this reading, which is a more general reading, but you would like a more one-on-one -on -one personal reading, please reach out to me on Instagram at Peach Lovers Club so that we can chat more about what kind of reading I can offer for you. So let's get into it. All right, so how this works is I want you to choose with your intuition. I have shuffled up the cards and asked for messages for groups of up to three. So group one, group two, and group three. And I want you to just close your eyes, take a nice deep breath, and just go over the numbers again in your mind. Number one, number two, and number three and see which one stands out to you the most, which one just feels right, which one are you niggling to know. And once you have your group, you can skip ahead. I will leave the times in the description box so that you know where your reading is. Okay, group one, let's see what cards I have for you today. Friendship. Make a date for a play day with one or more friends. Are you feeling like one of your goals this year is to make more friends? Soulmate relationship. New romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. So I feel like your goals this year are very connection based. You want to meet more people, you want to make more friends, maybe you want to find a lover or you're looking for a friend with a soulmate type relationship and what I mean by that is we have many soulmates in our lifetime on earth. Um, some of them are some of our soulmates are our friends, are people who really stick by us. So you may have a new friendship coming your way. Um, maybe that turns into a relationship, a soulmate type relationship that's built off friendship to begin with. So make a date for a play day with one or more friends. If you feel like you don't really have a lot of friends um, near you, near where you live, maybe you live away from your family and friend group like I do, um, then make one, put, put it in your goals this year to go out more, to put yourself out there more, to make more connections, to make more friendships, to build a really solid group of friends and a solid group of people that you feel connected to where you are. Because if you aren't planning on leaving the space that you're currently in and you want to build a life where you are, then it's gonna be really important for you to build those solid connections with people. So if you've been thinking about going out for coffee with someone, going for lunch, like really just put yourself out there and ask them. That can be your action takeaway from this reading. Inner temple devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. And Imrama, where are you being called to journey to? So if you're moving somewhere new, but you're worried about making friends and meeting people in the new space that you're moving to, just know that you're gonna make friends wherever you go. Like I feel like you're kind of like a shyer person, maybe a little bit more introverted, but that's fine. It doesn't mean that you can't make friends, you can. It's just you pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. 
and inner temple devotion tune into the portal of your heart so definitely important for you to spend time alone with yourself i know that i can feel that you really enjoy time alone time to yourself um you pre are probably someone that prefers to stay in which is why i'm seeing that you don't have a whole lot of friendships close by or maybe you have a smaller friend group and just you know acquaintances um inner temple devotion tune into the portal of your heart so listen to your heart you're gonna meet some great people but you have to put yourself out there to meet people at the same time um in Rama where are you being called to journey to so maybe you're thinking of moving and leaving your friends and a soulmate relationship like a really close friend behind and you're thinking about going traveling I can see that you're kind of like your feet are not really rooted like you don't really feel rooted where you are you're kind of almost like looking and thinking oh where else could I go like you're thinking about your other options of places to go maybe because you don't feel rooted where you are you don't really feel like you have a whole lot going on where you are but it's up to you to build that because going and searching in other places it's fine to travel it's fine to do those things to put yourself out there to experience life and experience culture but at the same time it's important to have those roots so that we can feel grounded and so that we have somewhere to really go back to that feels like home because we can search all we want to for a place that feels like home but it's more important for you to build a place that feels like home both within yourself and within who you are and also by putting yourself out there and building a place that feels like home in the area that you're in or the country that you're in or something along those lines what other cards have I got for you? Unicorn! That is a cool card. Indulge your creative, imaginative, and magical side through some form of artistic expression. So you're someone who's really creative and maybe you like spending time by yourself because you like getting into your creative side. So you like painting, you like doing things like vision boarding. Um, so maybe maybe put this on your vision board like making those new friendships putting yourself out there a little bit more in 2020 um i'm seeing for you i'm seeing for you painting and definitely seeing vision board like maybe print out pictures that you want to put on your vision board or get you know some old magazines and go through and chop out pictures that feel like a something that you want to add to your life or they feel like they represent your life goals or this year's goals for you so get into your creative side and just go with it see what comes out when you're painting see what feels good what feels right maybe you're don't go in with the intention of necessarily making it for a purpose but for just letting yourself like express and octopus practice shape-shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms so maybe you're someone who wants to experiment with new hairstyles this year or maybe you're someone who wants to experiment with new um style like i feel like you kind of want a makeover like you want to represent yourself a little bit um like a in a fresh way this year like you want to feel fresh like you're ready for 2020 but you're putting your best self out there and your best face forward so experiment with new styles and look up you know tutorials and things like that on youtube i feel like you are someone who wants to step into this year like a feeling a bit more revamped feeling um like you're confident enough to put yourself out there so the big message that i'm seeing for you group one for this year is really to focus on friendships and grounding and setting roots where you are instead of just always looking oh where can i go next this doesn't feel like home is like maybe this other place will feel like home instead focusing on building home where you are building those strong friendships and relationships you have a soulmate relationship coming in in 2020 it could be a really good friend soulmate type relationship where you just get along so well and you can do like nights in together you know what i mean it's not like you have to go out partying it's like nights in like you're doing face masks and cooking dinner together and like playing games and um it could be a love it could be it evolve into a love relationship or it could be a love soulmate relationship where you feel like there's a really strong friendship um, taking care of yourself letting yourself express yourself creatively these are all things that are coming through for me for your 2020 
I have an affirmation for you. Let yourself be silently drawn by the stronger pull of what you really love. Let yourself be silently drawn by the stronger pull of what you really love. So letting yourself really express yourself. That's what a lot of what I'm seeing this year is express yourself, put yourself out there, go in the direction of your goals, make that vision board and cut out and print out pictures that really align with and represent to you what your goals look like. And it's funny because my fuel happiness card for you is connections. Um, another quickie, so this one's five to 10 minutes at most. Think of someone who is very, very different from you, even someone you may not necessarily like. Have you got them in your head? Great. Now take five to 10 minutes to write a list of things you have in common. So when you think about it at the broadest level, you share 99.9% .9 DNA. Write how this experience has made you see them in a new light. This exercise has shown to make you more generous and being more generous makes you happy and more open to connections. So that's my little fuel happiness reading for you today, group one. I hope that something in there aligned with you and I would love to know in the comments if it did, if it sounded like you and if um, you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading for more personal, um, then reach out to me on Instagram at Peach Lovers Club. Thank you so much. Bye. All right. Welcome group two. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to go ahead and start turning over these cards and see what messages I have for you for 2020. Playtime. The dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestation. Self-forgiveness. Let go of old guilt and remember that you are God's perfect child. So I feel like you're someone who's really hard on yourself. That's why the self-forgiveness card is coming up. Maybe you're hard on yourself because you compare yourself to others a little bit too much and you're like focusing on the things that you'd want to change within yourself and within your life, um, but not really being so kind to yourself. So I think this year, be much, much kinder to yourself. Also make time for play. If you're someone who is hard on yourself in the way that, oh, this person has this and I haven't achieved that yet and I'm, you know, this age, I should have achieved that by now. You're co focusing on comparing yourself and you're overworking yourself because you're comparing to what other people have. So trust that you are in the exact right place that you need to be to learn the lessons the life lessons that you need to go into the next stage of the best version of you, but you have to make time for play as well because making time for play and rest and connection with, you know, friends and family and just doing fun things just for the sake of it is so important for our mental health. So I'm feeling like you are someone who in 2020 needs to be kinder to yourself and really be kind to your mental health. Make time for rest, make time for, give yourself permission to play, to do something for the sake of it, not because it's progressing you to get anywhere, but just because it's fun and just because you feel like doing it. Whether it's, you know, checking in with your inner child and seeing what they want to do, um, or if it's just, you know, a friend calls you up and says, hey, let's go to the beach and relax. Um, you know, giving yourself permission to take time away from your work and say, yeah, let's go do that. Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. I'm getting a sense that you are like someone who feels often like you're not in the right place or you're, you're like, oh, what would my life look like if, um, if I had done this or if I had done that, what would it be different? But just trust that like everything that you've been through has brought you to where you are right now for a reason because you're coming, you're becoming who you're meant to be, but you have to trust in the process and stop being so hard on yourself and wondering what life would be like if things had gone differently because they haven't like what you're experiencing and what you've been through is your reality. So you have to accept it become more present with yourself and know that you are in the right place at the right time, always. 
Lemuria, creating heaven on earth, it's happening. So this year, you know, being much kinder to your mental health so that you can really enjoy your life. Life is here to be enjoyed. We are here to enjoy our lives. And life is really simple, but we tend to overcomplicate it. So focus on, you know, creating a nice space for yourself, whether it's just a little good energy place in your home, or it maybe it might be, um, you know, redoing or revamping your bedroom so that it's really like feels like a sanctuary when you step in there and you feel really good about spending time in there um creating and i just see for you like creating a nice space or maybe even um being a little bit more minimal and getting rid of some of the clutter in your home so that you feel a little bit more clear-minded and our animals that i have for you seagull now is the time for deep emotional healing yeah so i feel like definitely um for you it's a lot to do with your mental health i feel like you've been through something that you feel it really changed who you were but even though this can be hard to accept it happened for a reason to give you the life lessons that you need to become the person you're meant to be so don't let what happened to you destroy you instead take it it's going to be the most powerful part of your story and turn it into your power and your motivation to do the best you can for yourself in an emu this is a good time to go on a new adventure so you could be thinking about traveling this year um maybe going on an adventure inwards as well there are so many different types of adventures you could be starting a new i feel like you might be starting a new spiritual or mental health journey could be an adventure um, in therapy that could be considered an adventure you could be on going on a real adventure going traveling for your mental health because often we learn a lot of really amazing life lessons when we do travel and when we experience different cultures around the world um, and I have an affirmation for you anything's possible if you've got enough nerve anything's possible if you've got enough nerve so you're not stuck where you are you might be feeling a little bit stuck or feeling a little bit lost but just know that everything that's happened to you is for a reason and it's all coming together and I do see a brighter future for you if you can turn that into, you know, your motivation to do the best you can for yourself. A lot of focus on mental health this year and purpose. This is your fuel happiness card is purpose which I'm really feeling for you especially if you are struggling in your mental health a lot of you know our struggles in mental health come from um, not really stepping into our purpose fully so set aside an hour for this because the results are powerful draw three circles big enough to write several bullet points label one of those circles purpose for things that bring meaning to your life. Another one, fun, for things you love to do, and the other, talents, or things you're good at. Write five to 10 things in each circle. Once you've completed this exercise, draw a three circle diagram and begin looking for things on your list that overlap, a Venn diagram, if you know what that is. If you don't, give it a little Google. Place words that show up in multiple categories in the crossover sections of the Venn diagram. The more things overlap, experts say, the closer you are to your sweet spot, aka the, your purpose or your mission. Anything you can put in the center, question mark. So that's your reading for today, group two. I really feel like for this year, you're really focused on finding your purpose, tuning into it, and really healing your mental health and what you've been dealing with and the things that have caused a bit of trauma in your life. So if this message aligned with you, I would love to hear in the comments. And if you would like a more personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, please don't hesitate to reach out on Instagram at Peach Lovers Club, and I will see you next time. 
Hello group three, thank you so much for joining me. I am so excited to share this reading with you, so let's get into it. Stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. Watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. So already I'm really clearly seeing you might be feeling a bit stagnant in what you're doing. Like you feel like what you're doing is what you want to do and you enjoy it, but you feel like it's not moving fast enough. So stay optimistic. Know that success comes from action and taking action consistently, not necessarily right away, but over a period of time, right? So even though sometimes we might feel like things are moving a little bit slowly at the moment, it could mean that a big wave of things about to pick up is going to happen. So stay optimistic. Watch your thoughts. Are you thinking too much about, oh, what if this doesn't work out for me? What if this isn't gonna, what if this isn't right? What if this isn't my right thing that I'm supposed to be doing? Watch your thoughts because you create your future and your thoughts create your future and your current reality. So if you are currently experiencing negative or self-doubt thoughts about what you're doing watch them see what you can do to change them try some beautiful morning affirmations i'm going to give you an affirmation shortly pleiades double mission channeling and uplifting humanity and the crumbling what are you clinging on to so i feel like you're someone who you know what you want to do like you already have a really clear vision of what you want to do you feel like it's moving a bit too slowly and like i said you're thinking about it a little bit maybe negatively what are you clinging on to that could be holding you back so just ask yourself what actions am i doing that aren't in alignment with where i want to be and what i want to create for my life and Pleiades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. You're someone who really cares about helping others. Like, I feel like you know that your purpose here is to help others. You just want it to move faster. Like, you need to help more people qu more quickly. But that's not how things really work. Because what I think you need to do is almost like your perspective needs to change a little bit to how can I help just one person? How can I help one person at a time instead of focusing on helping like thousands or hundreds or whatever it is, however many people you want to help in your lifetime. Focusing on how can I help just one person and if you already have helped one person, what did I do to help that one person? How did I change their life? Focus on the positives that you have created for yourself and for that other person. And focus on, like I said, helping one person at a time. You're here because you're naturally good at helping others. A dog, your loyalty and faithfulness is misplaced by serving too many masters. So that's almost like what I just said, like you're worried about how can I help all of these people to feel good? But like, you just need to focus on helping one person at a time. and. That person might be yourself at this moment. Like it might be, you know, watching your thoughts and changing your thoughts and not giving away too much of your energy because it seems like you're trying to help too many people and your message is going to be spread thin when you do that. Whereas if you just focus on impacting one person at a time, um, you know, whoever you're present with, it doesn't need to be you have to help one person and then you can move on. Like whoever you're present with, either speaking to or in the same room as, how can you f focus on just helping them in that moment and be present with that? And Hawaiian Al Pueyo, you your ancestral spirit guides are offering your guide you guidance now. So pay close attention to signs and omens from them. So just paying attention like I said, you're here to channel and uplift humanity. So paying attention, I feel like you haven't been paying attention to your, to yourself and your own signs and listening to yourself. So the person that you are helping right now could just be you and that's okay. You don't have to help everyone. You have, once you help yourself, then you can help more people. Once you're right in here and you feel like things are right and you tr can tune into your intuition, you know, you've got, you're eating good foods, you're hydrated, you're taking care of your exercise routine and you're focusing on um, 
your work and what you want to create, then you can focus on helping other people as well. I dwell in possibility. This is your affirmation. I dwell in possibility. So stay optimistic, watch your thoughts, use some positive affirmations. So much is possible for you. Just know that just be, like what you've created so far isn't all you're going to create in your lifetime. You have so much more to give. I can feel that you have so much more to give. But I dwell in possibility. Just know that there's so much more out there that you're going to be able to give, that you're going to achieve, that you're going to experience and stay optimistic on your mission. And then my fuel happiness card for you group three is about meditation and body scanning. So let's get into it and think about this as an activity for you. Five minutes of daily meditation can help reduce stress, improve your well-being and decrease bodily aches and pains. There are many different ways to meditate. The body scan meditation is all about systematically focusing your attention on different parts of your body. So being, begin by finding a comfortable seat in silence or somewhere that's nice and quiet. Set your timer for five minutes and breathe normally as you start to focus your attention on your toes. From your toes to your ankles, to your neck and down your arms. Try to relax whatever part of the body that you're focusing on. Breathing about five conscious breaths per body part will help make the five minutes fly by in no time. So just making your way slowly through your body with your eyes closed and just scanning and checking in. And I feel like, yeah, that's definitely something that you need to do with yourself. Just check in a little bit more often and remember to stay optimistic on your mission because you're doing amazing. And although things aren't where you want them to be right now, it just takes time sometimes and persistence. So I hope that reading resonated with you. I would love to hear in the comments what your thoughts are, what stuck out to you and what resonated. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one personal reading with me, please reach out to me on Instagram at Peach Lovers Club and we can chat further about that. Bye. Thanks so much for watching.